My first ever werewolf transformation. Wait, where did she go? Oh my gosh, she ripped the floor. Oh, she's biting him. Watch out. Rain is transforming. Okay, guys, welcome back to some more Sims 4 Werewolves. I've been so keen to get back into this. This is the new pack that we started exploring last game. And there is still so much to explore, so much to do. I've not even, like, really scratched the surface of this new stuff in this pack yet. So I'm really excited to give it all a go. Thank you guys also so much for your tips last time. But before we get into today's video, I am super excited because today we're going to be partnering with Anna Luisa. So I had a look at the beautiful selection on their website of high quality quality jewelry at affordable prices. What I love about that jewelry as well is from packaging to product, everything is carbon neutral. This is sustainable jewelry. These guys also care deeply about the planet as well. And I shared some of the products that I loved with their team and they've sent me a selection of those products, as you can see recyclable packaging. So we're going to be going through this surprise selection today so you guys can see what I picked. Okay, so I'm so excited about these pieces right here. I love gold jewelry and I love sets with tiny little like delicate sort of designs. You'll see a lot of those. So this is the Cerise and Alma Belt matching set. So these I thought were really cute for summer. I just think they're like really pretty for a summer's day. During the daytime, like chilling out, I just I love these. I love that they're little dangle earrings and the little kind of like flower like blows in the breeze love those on a similar note i got the glow mushroom set for obvious reasons because mushrooms are beautiful and amazing and i actually wear mushroom top quite a lot so i thought these would go perfectly so here are the mushrooms in all their glory look how pretty they are I literally love them so much. So those are kind of like the fun designs I picked, but I also picked up some more like evening designs too. So these are the Jolie Blacks. And if you guys can see, they're actually a different color at the front there. So I like that it still looked very elegant and pretty with the gold, but then it also has this kind of like, I don't know, sort of darker, edgier look with the black at the front that I thought was really pretty. And then these last ones, I'm most excited for. These are the Toda Minis, and they're perfect if, like me, you've always intended to get multiple piercings in one ear, but you just kind of never got around to it. So ignore my red ear. I've taken in and out a lot of earrings in one session, but look how pretty these are. I love that they're, like, elegant, but they kind of look like... I've got double piercings, which I absolutely love because I love the way that looks and I just never personally got around to doing it. So let me know which of the ones I selected is your favorite. And what is exciting is right now, if you use code Claire10, you can get 10% off Ana Luisa jewelry. So I've dropped a link in the description below. I know you guys are going to love their jewelry too. Big thank you to Ana Luisa for sponsoring today's video. And let's go ahead and get into it. Some things that I missed is I was wondering why I couldn't do any marking with... Wait, who are you again? Luna. Moon, of course. I was wondering why I couldn't do any marking with Luna, even though she's territorial. And it's because I actually forgot to buy the territory marking perk on the perk tree. I don't know whether it's because I'm blind and Egypt or both. It's probably both, let's face it. So I'm going to try and make her do a bunch of werewolfy stuff in order to get these ability points up. We've also been warned a few times about Greg, but I was kind of always like, who, who is Greg, you know? Greg, it doesn't sound like a mean name. It sounds like one of my mom and dad's friends, like Uncle Greg, you know? So I wasn't really getting the fear initially. However, you guys said that Greg is the biggest, baddest werewolf around. And he is living somewhere with a bunch of signs that warn you of just how big and badass he is. In my game, it's really snowy here right now, which is actually such a pain because it makes it really difficult to find anything. But I did find Greg's home. He's hidden across the river from me. It's going to take me 12,000 years. I don't know what it is, but I find this world, despite the few lots, I find it really hard to navigate. I don't know if anybody else is having that issue, but maybe I've just got a really bad sense of direction. Two hours later. Oh my gosh, 12 and a half thousand years later, I find it. Okay, so this is Greg's house. You can tell by these signs here. These signs are werewolf warning signs. Stay away. I am the wolf. He actually reminds me of my crazy neighbor, to be honest. But yeah, this is Greg's house. Now, Luna kind of wants to be like a big bad werewolf, but I don't think she wants to be the baddest around. She more just wants a pack to fit in her and have like family. Like we've given her the family orientated trait. And because of that, she's been generated of the would be happy to be pregnant. So she just kind of really wants this like pack around her. I don't think she necessarily wants to be the biggest baddest werewolf in town. I think that would probably suit Rain more. But Rain right now doesn't even know that werewolves exist. Now I've headed back here specifically at this time for a reason because it's currently the early hours of Monday morning which is the first quarter moon which for Luna she gets increased relationship gain and lost so if Rain's nice to her 
we're gonna get a big relationship boost but if he's kind of being a douche it's gonna be the opposite way around however when i go to my calendar tomorrow is the full moon it's my first ever full moon i am running the series alongside my not so berry series and i explained in the not so berry that i'm gonna allow aging on both families and gameplay to continue on both families otherwise the ages start to get really confusing and that does mean that i'll be missing liv's current pregnancy and baby birth however since she's had so many babies at this point and this is my first ever full moon i feel like the full moon wins so we're gonna experience that first ever full moon today we're gonna explore more of the werewolves pack and for now these guys it's 1 a.m in the morning we don't have work today rain still is unemployed just doing odd jobs they're both kind of awake as well so i think we're just gonna hang out so luna's kind of built up quite a lot of rage which is why she's glowing that like crazy color i'm gonna get her to eat some raw meat because she's kind of hungry and last episode we had quite a lot of flirtation going on now you know luna i feel like you know she's tough she's got a tough exterior but we also like know that she's she's hot-headed so she's passionate she's emotional she's family orientated she would want this family around her one day so she's into rain if i go on like their relationship panel she finds rain very attractive and i feel like they both actually kind of work quite well he's actually feeling quite smitten about her however she doesn't know rain's true personality yet we do and we know that rain and commitment they don't know each other like rain does not know what commitment is so i feel like at some point she's gonna realize that rain isn't really what she was expecting maybe we'll end up like a little broken hearted there however broken heart for werewolves full of fury is probably a little bit different to just annoying your average random girl and i think rain's gonna learn that the hard way today so these guys haven't actually kissed yet but um okay rain's blowing her kisses i'm gonna just like have it like you know she's got this big secret she's not told rain yet we're gonna just like test the waters by being like don't you think vampires suck because <laughs> i feel like that's something that you know werewolves should probably talk about and like if you could be anything would you rather be like a werewolf or a vampire i think being a werewolf would be way cooler personally because vampires are really cold and werewolves are really passionate and hot also totally hot what do you think what do you think and let's see what his preferences are we'll also spread some beastly rumors we'll be like oh i know you're new here but did you know that like this place is rumored to like have loads of wild wolves and oh he kind of agreed that werewolves are cooler by the way i totally think oh it's hard what do you guys think? Which is cooler? Oh, these guys just became good friends. She loved that he said werewolves were cooler. I think in general, vampires are way cooler. However, would I never be able to go out in the sun again and never like feel warm skin? I don't know if I could. I don't know if I could give up sunlight. I generally don't know if I could. Yeah, so she's like, oh, there's rumors that this place is full of werewolves. Like, but that doesn't scare you. That's kind of cool. And then I feel like he would just use that as an opportunity to be like, how is he not noticing this, by the way? <laughs> He's gonna be like, oh, don't worry. If there was ever any anything scary around here i would totally protect you so you don't even need to be afraid little does he realize that you know he's the one that's gonna need protecting not her i feel like luna and her claws and her fangs have this totally covered oh see see what i mean she just did that on her own as well he's like a little peck and she's like i can literally carry your entire body weight even if you are super thick although he's actually less like strong than he was because i don't have any workout equipment here but yeah he's less strong than he was before but she can totally just hold his weight really easily so they're having quite a steamy exchange i don't want to move things really fast i really want a werewolf toddler I don't want to like tie them down with this yet. I also want to buy just a few new things from the park for the house because like I've not bought anything from this new park yet. And seeing that Rain had no workout equipment just kind of reminded me of it. It's $800. I know that money is like going to become tight quite quickly, but he needs a workout bench, guys. Especially if he wants to be the biggest, baddest werewolf in town one day, which I feel like he totally will. <gasps> oh my gosh, there's also cool planters. Oh, it's the middle of winter like you don't need to buy planters even though he wants it so much oh look at this little love seat oh i want winter to be over so i can start like buying cute things we've got our little fire so i feel like we should get some little logs at the side of it plus there's something about logs and fires that's just you know kind of cute but also kind of romantic i'm gonna get these mossy ones maybe a few telltale scratches on the floor as well where like if you know you know kind of thing you know there's some cute stuff in this park like i love this little desk here that's gorgeous like old school kind of desk these like tar oh it's like full on top okay our house isn't quite wreckish enough to have tarp on the walls <gasps> look at this terranium though <gasps> is that gonna stop them from eating i don't know maybe i can put it on here instead oh my gosh it's a mushroom terranium 
don't i'm gonna cry and it's got like a little moon and a cloud design in the background oh my gosh what look at that that's actually so cute oh look at this mirror it's oh my gosh it's got crystals in it oh i'm gonna put that in her room Oh my gosh, I love that. Hello. This is the first time I've truly like explored because I've been away. I've literally not even been in the UK. So I haven't got the chance to like fully explore this park yet. And you know, so many people do explore videos of the stuff in the park that I just kind of prefer playing and just giving it a go that way instead. I like this color. So this is all new to me, which is really exciting. Look at this all. Oh like little werewolf bookings and oh yep we'll pop you on as well and I like this black one and then look at the little toys for if we do get a werewolf toddler in the future there is a wolf and also a sheep in sheep's clothing how cute are they okay there's a bookcase as well i like that because it lies really flat against the wall which is quite cool there's also oh my gosh if you become alpha in the wild fangs you get a guitar and the guitar's really cool. And Rain is totally... He can play guitar really well. <gasps> okay, that's cool. But I kind of wanted Rain to join the other gang. But maybe Luna gives it to him if they patch things up. I don't know. Look at this cool lamp as well. It's like a little... <gasps> the moon petals. They will They will hatch soon. Wait, plants don't hatch. They will bloom soon. There's one on the top of the mountain, if you guys remember. So I need to keep an eye on that. <gasps> and then look at the clawed paintings. Ooh. I feel like her room would have like some of this like cool wolfy stuff to it. Like, I love that. These seem a little bit, like, overly posh. I don't know. I think just put the posters are kind of cool. So just some casual, if you know, you know. Oh, I've, I realized where the bed was so far over. Okay, fine. We'll just do two. Maybe this one goes on here. There we go. <gasps> Seven years unlucky mirror. Oh my gosh, it's a mirror with a big crack in it. <gasps> okay, I'm gonna put that in the hallway. Just so you can check your appearance before you leave and make sure you get bad luck forever. Okay, cool. Nice new things. I actually don't think I've even used the kitchen yet either because we ate at the place that we went to last episode. And Luna hunts, so we've like, literally not used the kitchen. The other thing I've seen, which I really love, is this new telescope. It's absolutely beautiful. And I feel like, you know, Luna with her name and the fact that she's a wolf would love a bit of stargazing. However, oh, there's also a cool cheap pinch bag. Why not? It's 1,000 pounds. So I'm probably not gonna be buying it anytime soon. I will, however, get this cool punch bag so yeah i'm not gonna let them rush into any relationships but she's definitely quite into him i feel like you know because she's territorial oh she's just gonna go to sleep on the floor <laughs> i feel like because she's territorial she'll almost be like um oh he still wants to chat with her i'm gonna get her to wake up and say like look if i'm interested in somebody nobody else gets to date them like i'm quite and, and she's gonna ask him as well like she's not gonna be wait to be asked she's like i'm quite a territorial person so if i date it's just us two if it doesn't work out like straight away then we can just break up but nobody else gets to date you while I'm dating. I prefer exclusivity. Just as long as, you know, you stay exclusive while we're exclusive. And if you want to break up, you can do. Yeah, for her, it's like, I don't want to do a savage food. <laughs> but i have to <laughs> it's less like she immediately wants to get deep and more if she's interested in a male no other like females can go near him you know so she's made claim and she's feeling real furious oh and look at this she can't sleep in a bed she can nap in it but she can't sleep in it she prefers just sleeping on the floor like do at least do the wolf nap in here so like it looks like you're using your bed her bed is exclusively used for woo woos <laughs> And Rain has kind of totally adopted. Oh, he's practicing his singing, isn't he? Rain has adopted her time zones. Like, he's slipped into being nocturnal freakishly easily, actually. And look, right now, he's like, I'm smitten. We're deeply connected. You're so hot. But this is Rain. He literally chatted up two girls last episode on his own, if not three. So I don't think we're going to have to wait too long before uh, things start going wrong. I think he'll do that all on his own. Okay, singing's getting a little better. His muscle density has definitely gone down, though. I need to get him back doing a little workout. Why don't you do some an epic workout and then get to some sleep, please? Oh, you can't get to your room because Luna's asleep in front of it. Are you going to, like, step over her? Okay, just going to walk straight over her. Nice. Oh, that is a furious sleep if I ever saw one. <gasps> Oh, and she's woken up with the beast beckons from a dangerous amount of fury. Luna is losing her grip on humanity and will soon give in to the beast within. Make sure to keep Luna a safe distance from anyone. You wouldn't want anything bad to happen, right? Oh, guys. Yeah, she is, uh, she is feeling pretty furious right now. Should I send her away hunting? That might be for the best. Go hunt for some food. <gasps> oh my gosh, she's transforming. Oh. <gasps> My first ever werewolf transformation. Wait, where did she go? Oh my gosh, she ripped the floor. 
Oh no, why have you got trousers on? I specifically made all my werewolves naked. Oh my gosh, don't go in there and let him see you. Oh my gosh, no, get in here right now. Go here savagely. You are so lucky he was getting into bed there or else that would have gone really badly. Oh God, she's enraged. Wait, why have you got the stupid trousers on? Oh, it's cracking me up. I'm sorry, but it is. Rampage. Luna's fury is unleashed. Werewolves who are rampaging are on a merciless warpath and have little control over themselves. The path that all werewolves walk is certainly cruel. Okay, I think it gave her trousers because she was in like her wolf form. She wa is like wanting to pack hole and stuff. But here is how Luna looks as a wolf. Oh. And here is how she sounds as a wolf as well. Oh my gosh, where's she, where's she gone? <laughs> she's, oh, she's off. The trousers are growing. <laughs> All you can do is you're fully enraged. All you're going to do is howl for the next however long. I mean, it's the perfect time for it because we're almost at a full moon. It's currently waxing gibbous. Tonight is heightened fighting prowess. Oh my gosh. I'm going to see if she can try and regain control. I want to see what happens when she does that. Okay, she's trying. She's trying to keep it under control. No, that did not go well. Hi, Luna. I have a crush on Anya. Do you think it's worth a try? She'd be like, <laughs> down the phone. She won't be able to communicate. <laughs> Can all she do is howl? She just is going to howl? She's rampaging. Oh my gosh, she's fully rampaging. Okay, so she's on a rampage. I'm going to leave her to that. Rain, however, has had enough. He's woken up needing a little wee, so I'm going to go for a wee and grab a snack. He's completely unaware of what's going on around him. I might, like, send her quite far away. Yeah, go here just to try and keep Rain safe because, like, he's not annoyed her or anything yet. So let's just... <laughs> Look how they run. She's like, oh! Off she goes. That's how I go upstairs. Does anybody else do that? <laughs> That's literally how I go up the stairs at home. I'm like, if I have to go upstairs, I'm going to do it like that. I'm going to like savagely go up the stairs. And then I don't howl when it gets to the top though, but I do go up the stairs on my hands and knees like that. Oh, I don't know why. Rain, however, is not savagely rampaging. So I'm going to get him to head up here and have a nosy at this moon petal. It's grown. It has grown since the last time we saw it. It is covered in snow right now, but I feel like it might blossom tonight. He's kind of like, you know, he's happy about his first kiss and like, he's like, my new partner's first for now you know he wants to be mischievous to her though he's already wanting to troll he can't resist himself and he's already like been there done that he's getting bored like it's been a day good 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 job rain okay i'm noticing some wild wolfines around wolfgang wilder and lily zoo are both here they both seem to not be rampaging they got their werewolfness under control they're also dressed like they came straight from a disney film maybe oh and they give each other gifts well it's like um robin hood and little john it's kind of like that wait why is it just zoomed in on you what are you doing you're not dressed for the cold please put your cold weather gear on it looks like um robin hood over there they look like characters from robin hood i get that you're tough and you have a lot of strength oh hi lila <gasps> Gordon and I have a little bun in the oven. I can't describe to you how excited I am to be having a baby. It's just that he's like, Mom, really? Aren't you like 60? Has your womb not cracked and given up yet? Surely your womb is too old for such behaviors, but okay, Mom. Good job. You truly are fertile. I guess I have another sibling, you know, because I've loved all the others so much. Okay, Luna's gone somewhere. Off in her enraged state right now. She is losing her rampage. Rain is doing his favorite things to do in the morning, which is avoid work. I mean, practice his singing and his guitaring on top of the mountain, much to the delight of the local the local women. And ooh, transformation mastery unlocked. Luna has learned how to trans... Oh my gosh. She's learned how to transform at will. will. But instead, she <laughs> she's just come up the mountain. Full on butt ass naked. I guess she's not in werewolf form anymore. Thinks that this is just all for her and lovely. Rain is not complaining because, oh, okay, instantly flirty. Instantly flirty because she stood there butt naked. I mean, clearly he was not going to have any issue with that. What happened? Where am I? What just happened to me? Where did I run off to? I have so many questions. Is this what it's like being a werewolf? I guess she's never done a full transformation before. She's always had werewolf blood. But it's the first time doing a full on transformation. She is naked and alone though. So I'm going to get her home. Oh, and she can properly sleep in her bed now. Okay, go ahead and have a little sleep because you're going to need some rest before tonight. Before the full moon. And if she's getting some sleep i know you want to kiss her but she's kind of had a bit of a traumatic morning let's face it i want to visit the new this lot which is the only lot i haven't visited yet what is going on here which is the library so i'm gonna go ahead and head here well the only um public lot we've not visited which is the moonwood library moonwood mill library seems like a bit of a social place to come and hang out we've got some librarians here and oh my gosh rain 
it's your favorite. I know you've already done a workout, but there's literally a gym here. Maybe you'll meet some fellow like, you know, buff gym bro kind of guys. Although there'll be gym wolf bros here. And okay, it's kind of a little bit of a dead space. There is a little telescope. I guess it's just some of the stuff from the new park and things you can do, but it's a slightly old space, I guess. There's like this little area down here as well. And there is like a big observatory in case anybody ever wants to use that. I don't know who's in there right now, but somebody is. Yeah, bit of an odd space. But I don't know if you guys have seen some any any good renovations of this on the gallery. Let me know. I mean, like, what is this room? I don't really kind of like a wild room. I don't know. And Rain already wants to ask somebody else to go steady. <laughs> He is pure rat. I think he likes Luna, but he just has way too much of like a fear of commitment, doesn't he? He's just terrified of it. And after his workout, he had the choice of having a nice quiet read or playing some video games. Which one do you reckon he picked? So he's feeling pretty fearless from his punch bag now. I'm going to go introduce myself to more of the neighbors. We introduce ourselves by throwing petals on people now, apparently, which people seem to really like. And our charisma is now level nine after that. Immediately after introducing himself to this girl who he finds basic looking, she has a crush on him. Like immediate crush, love at first sight. Wise, maybe, maybe not. Irresistible, very much so. <laughs> but he's just like, eh, she's got a crush on me this early. She's kind of boring. She's sort of immature, but you know what? Who cares? Whatever. She'll be insaning for now. I'm going to blow her a kiss and ask her to hang out whilst being judged by this hipster. And I'm going to go for like the Dennis approach. Like we're going to establish interest and then like, you know, do the whole insecurity thing before sweeping in for the kill. The Dennis approach. And then complain about our love life. We're so broken hearted. Nobody, uh, nobody really gets like me. Like all I want is true love, just lies. Dennis, <gasps> look, ooh, somehow it's my fault that some wild fang showed up just to mark their territory right outside my door last week it took me ages to get the smell out why couldn't it have been one of those nice moonwood collective folks that came by to chat sometime so i don't think she's a werewolf but she's aware of them like she knows what they are oh we're also commenting on her appearance doing some casual negging as well wow tell me what you really think about how i look he's like no no i'm just being honest like i still like you i just said that you were had a very unique kind of face but yeah, I feel like Rain with a werewolf comment would be just like, yeah, whatever. I don't know, really know who the wild fangs are, but whatever. Oh, look who else has decided to show up. My immortal Dr. Sim, who has lived for 10 generations and still does that highlighter. And yeah, he's not really feeling it. Nothing to do about it. The Sim isn't inspiring any kinship in Rain, but she's entertaining for now, at least. Meanwhile, because it's getting close to nighttime, I'm going to switch over to Luna because I want to see what happens to werewolves at midnight. I was kind of wondering, she's a werewolf and she runs a bit hotter. I wonder if they can still freeze in the snow. I kind of feel like they shouldn't be able to because I don't know. Are you cold? Yeah, she's getting chilled. I feel like werewolves are meant to run a couple of degrees warmer so they don't get cold as quickly, or at least that's what most werewolf lore is. But I don't know if it's going to be the way in Sims. Either way, she's getting all pumped up for tonight. Her fury is totally under control now. <gasps> Okay, full moon imminent. The full moon is quickly approaching and Luna knows what that means. Okay, I'm gonna bring Rain home. Okay, he's come home on his own, which is great. He wants a little nap, which makes sense. It's 8 p.m. So now is a good time to have a little nap for yourself. And, you know, she kind of likes him. She trusts him. She doesn't feel any reason to have like bad vibes with him. Like he's moved in. They've only known each other a while, but she is like um, easily excitable. She gets very excited by new things and she just has a good feeling about him. She knows that he thinks well was cool than vampires so he's like she's like okay i don't want to hide any part of myself from people and i shouldn't be ashamed of what i am that's the whole reason she wants to join the wildcats right wild fangs not the wildcats so i'm gonna like invite over the new friendo she made from the wildcats wild fangs which are rory and lou rory who's apex and lou who's just um a little puck because at midnight, I think we're going to do a transformation. And I think we're going to invite Rain to see. We're just going to say to him, come to the top of the mountain at midnight. How come these guys are like always in their wolf forms? Do they never change out of them? Okay, I'm going to ask to be a friend of the wild fangs. It's like, like the first part of joining the pack. Like, I don't know. Will that get me in? I'm really not sure. Sorry, Luna, I don't even know you well enough yet. Let's get a chance to know each other a little bit better first. They want to see how werewolf abilities may be. We can let that happen. We can share werewolf experiences with them as well. We recently had a transformation. Everyone's feeling quite tense though, because we're getting pretty close to the full moon transformation. So we've got half an hour. It's really annoying. It's so snowy. I feel like this might mess with things a little bit, but we'll try anyway. These guys are going to go ahead and travel to the peak together. Rain, whose blood does not run as hot, 
is definitely uh, feeling the cold. So I'm going to get him to just be like, oh, I'm going to the peak. I'm going to invite her over Diana just because like, you know, I don't want like Luna to think we're super serious. Like I know she says she's all like, you know, territorial of me, but like I need to put a stop to that right now. Diana is sleeping now. She's not. I'll get her here. Don't worry. Okay, so it's midnight. The full moon. So the full moon's going to hit at 1 a.m. in the morning. So we're pretty, pretty close. We're also close to the stars from being up at the top here. And wait a minute. Does that mean this is going to bloom as well? We've got to keep an eye on that. Okay, so she's here. She's super flirty. We were supposed to go up at, you know, 1 a, uh, sorry, midnight. So I'm going to go ahead and get these guys to head up and join them too. It's so cold. It's like full on blizzard conditions for this full moon. And as soon as he gets up, he's going to see his first ever werewolves of Lou and Rory. So this should be fun. Look, she wants to be friendly with him. Oh, babe. I'm glad you want to fight as well because it's probably gonna happen and also we've been told the makeup of werewolf blood in the child of two werewolf parents can fluctuate sometimes a child's lunar connections are stronger than another werewolf's child's they'll be more naturally gifted as a werewolf but that doesn't mean others can't attain the same level of skill other times a child's werewolf affinity might seem to be missing entirely so two werewolves don't guarantee a werewolf child and also certain werewolf children are just naturally stronger than others very interesting Okay, so Raid is bored. He's on his way over for some drama. Nice. And immediately, as soon as he gets to the top and sees these guys, he might not even know the wells at this point. He might just think they're furries dressed up. But he's tense from beastly presence. You can never be too careful around werewolves, especially transformed ones. He's kind of freaked out right now. So freaked out he wants to burp. I don't know. Okay, yeah, burp. Nice. And Diana is here as well. Now, he wants to make it clear that he doesn't want to get, like, suckered into any, like, commitment. So he's going to go ahead and start, like, having a little flirt over here with Diana. <gasps> Which she spotted. Luna is spotted, like, immediately. And, oh, she's not happy. I thought she would get angry, but she's actually just got sad. Drifting love caught the love of her life. Flirting with another. Are they joking around or losing interest? And the moon up here is slowly becoming full. Said it would do it at 1 a.m., but it's not quite there yet. Okay, I'm going to get her to confront him about flirting with others, which I can do with the relationships wellness mod, by the way. Because we know that she's territorial. And Diana's got the right idea. She's just got straight out of here. Okay, well, they're having a full-on argument right now. I'm going to ask if more than flirting happened. <gasps> and she can demand a temporary separation. Oh my gosh. Express suspicion of the closeness. Oh, this is fun because I get to try out a bunch of many things. Nothing unforgivable. Luna's, if Luna's part of saying the truth, they didn't do anything more than flirting or kissing with the other sim. Not all hope would be lost then, but she's still super mad. <gasps> And Luna's partner just confessed. Wait, confessed having woo-wooed with another. Wait, that's a lie. He never did that. He literally never did that. That's an absolute straight up lie. <gasps> Why has he said that? Give the relationship and a partner another chance or it's too painful and hopeless. Just break up with them. We know she's a hothead and she's fiery. So I feel like she would immediately do this. <gasps> I've never had that option before. That's quite cool. <gasps> We're breaking up. We're like... I'm territorial and fierce, but this is who I am and my love deserves better than someone like you, Rain. He's feeling super embarrassed and they're both feeling really sad now. Oh my gosh, why does that deserve farts? Oh, and look, her unfaithful lover's made her really angry. Re oh, he's freaking out. He's free. Oh, jeez. He's fully freaking out right now. She's so angry. She's transformed without trousers on this time. Yes. Okay, Rain, you have had a whole history of like being unfaithful and being nasty. And I feel like now, now it's finally caught up on you. You found somebody that is not going to allow themselves and their emotions to be just messed with that way. I'm going to do a cursed buy. I have the option to do it. She does have that unlocked. He's so terrified right now. He's fully afraid. Fatal mistakes. It could be a fatal mistake, you know? Okay, we're going to see our first ever werewolf buy. I've literally never... Never seen this before. Oh, she's biting him. Oh gosh, she's giving him a, a cursed bite. She's so, oh, and a big, a big howl as well. He's fully freaked out right now. He's terrified. Werewolf. But also the stars are so pretty. But mainly werewolf. And 
Bit out of the blue. Was that a big hairy monster? Rain was just attacked and has a painful bite to prove her. Okay, now that she's bitten him, I'm going to have her like run away because I was going to get her to transform at the full moon, but she got so angry that she actually transformed early, which kind of works out pretty perfect. And now we have this bite, right? This painful bite. Does this look infected to you? He's going to write a song about it. Rain is not sure where the fatal mistake laid, cheating or admitting to cheated. Maybe lying about what you did. <gasps> Luna is now a veteran werewolf. No freaking way. She just leveled up. <gasps> she Did she level up from biting? I don't know. But she needs to turn three sims into werewolves and she just turned her first sim. <gasps> well done, well done. And yeah, she's pretty angry. I've got her to go start wrecking. <gasps> she can wreck his new workout equipment. No, she can't. Oh, I really wanted her. Can she smash his bed? <gasps> she can scratch his bed. Yes, let's destroy his things. This takes like slashing car tires to a whole new level. <laughs> <gasps> and the good news is now I can buy because I leveled up to a veteran wolf i can now actually be able to mark territory which is nice because she keeps getting the urge to do it and now i can actually do it i'm gonna mark my territory in his room is she gonna pee on the floor if i do this have you ever been so mad at somebody that you just peed on the floor of their room <laughs> no she's not no when i saw this in the trailer i freaked out so much yep she's got to pee in his room you've got to start working an hour oh my gosh babes you can't go to mcdonald's like this you can't go to mcdonald's like this don't come in the room rain don't come in okay she's off she's running right outside again and like his bite you can see on his arm here she bit him on his wolf tattoo no freaking way poetic justice oh my gosh she's still here freaking out if i was you i would just get away rain yep yep he immediately runs the other room oh and she's detransforming. That's good because you'll be able to actually go for work. To work. He can't be in the same room as her. He's fully freaked out. And after all that rage, now she's just feeling sad. Damaged trust. Drifting love. Breakup blues. She can't even think about how mad she is because instead, like, her hopes are just... She's just all had all her hopes and, and dreams dashed and she's off to go cry in bed. I love that she's so fiery. She's, like, so angry. But then also is, like, such a little soft bean who cries in bed at the same time. And I don't know how they're going to make up this relationship. That is bad. I want them to become fated mates just because I want to see what it's all about. But I don't know if they're going to be able to, genuinely. You're going to have to do a lot of making up brain. I Either that or just move out altogether. I don't think cooking eggs and toast is going to help because she eats raw meat, babes. Oh, and she's also going to put in her shift while feeling sad. The poor thing. So when I go to Luna, I can see where she's marked. But when I go to Rain, he just sees pee on the floor. And uh, Rain looks like you've got your work cut out today. You're probably going to learn a lot about how to repair things because I don't think you did a great deal of that at home, did you? No, I don't think you have the handiness skill. Enjoy your day of repairing things. And oh, insatiable hunger. Rain seems to be getting hungry much faster than usual. He's absolutely famished. His hunger is low. Okay, I'm going to let you off repair duty because I don't want you to die of hunger. So go ahead and start eating, please. Now we might have to just do a serving of food because uh, otherwise he's not going to make it. And will regular food cut it or will Luna have to hunt for him? I can't tell. Right now he's just struggling on his own. And I think honestly, now that the rage has subsided and she's just feeling sadness, I think she might start feeling a little bit guilty about what she did because it's one thing to break up with a partner and like, you know, trash them on social media. It's another thing to bite them and change their lives forever. Although it's sometimes pretty just. Okay, hunger's, hunger's looking good again. Oh my gosh, it's immediately going down. It goes up when he bites food and then goes down when he stops biting food. How am I supposed to keep up with this? He needs to finish repairing this toilet in order to be able to be. But his hunger's going down in the meantime. And he's still ravenous. Could he be turning into a werewolf? And look, he's feeling jealous. Your significant other isn't around. Wait, who else are you dating? He's still technically dating Christy. So when he asked Luna to date, he was already dating. Oh my gosh, you need a new ex. Yeah, let's make Christy an ex. I wish you could break up with over the phone. Yeah, he's like having a bit of a panic right now. Maybe realizing that um, he can't keep doing this because he can't keep behaving this way. He's already feeling the like the downsides to behaving like a nasty person when you would get turned into a werewolf. In fact, I feel like this has changed like his views on things so much that I am going to change out his... Um, it won't be animal, will it? I'm going to change out his aspiration because there was one you guys never got to see, which was Werewolf Initiate. And I already completed it for Luna because I wanted her to be past that stage. For Rain, since something terrible happened from our, like, philandering ways, we're not going to be trying that anymore. Let's switch over to Werewolf. 
Werewolf initiates. Become a werewolf, level up to run. Experience the full moon and read werewolf books. However, my main worry right now is my hunger. So he's just going to eat quick meals to try and keep himself alive. Christy has come and immediately started cleaning. She's like, oh, this is where you're living now. And he's like, I am so sorry that I messed with your head and then ran away to a completely different town. I truly am a terrible person, but I would like us to separate. Why are we separating? Because... I'm having a life crisis right now. Literally a full-on life crisis. And oh my gosh. Is he actually gonna... <gasps> oh my gosh, with Christy right here. Christy's like, yeah, I'm getting away from you. <gasps> Watch out. Rain is transforming. Oh my gosh. He's... <laughs> I didn't think it would happen this quickly. I th oh my gosh, I thought it would have a few days. <gasps> what? Okay. <gasps> Where's he going? Oh gosh, he's fully transformed. How has that happened so fast? And he's instantly enraged. Okay, now at least you can see how uncontrollably angry Luna was when she bit you and she probably wasn't fully in control of her emotions. His hunger's still going down. Is he still really hungry? No, he doesn't have that insatiable hunger anymore. But he is hungry and he also doesn't know how to hunt. So I think Luna is angry as she is right now. I'm gonna have to like send her hunting for him. Sister's like, let's go to GeekCon. I mean, you are dressed as a furry, but no. And okay, this is the wolf form that the game gave him. I'm really surprised he he's like a white wolf because I really expected him to be like, um, like black based on his hair color. I was expecting like, you know, like those cool black wolves with piercing eyes. So I'm really tempted to change out his wolf color, but I want to know what you guys think at the same time. But being enraged just seems like a lot of howling, like incessant howling, which is good because it's given him some ability points. It's building up his ability and we already got three ability points to start with. Ferocity, intimidate other sims for fun and profit. Wolf nap, sleep anywhere. Territory marking, which I already know. Scavenger, dig up lost treasures and artifacts. A wealth of lost artifacts right beneath the rain's feet. He'd never need to work a day again. Personal grooming, lick away the dirt. Oh my gosh, he's a slob. He'd never have to get a shower again. Okay, these two feel like they fit rain's personality. And I also also like the idea of these guys having like little nippy naps together just because it's kind of cute so i'm gonna get these there we go like he can scavenge now just doing little digs everywhere oh my gosh digging like a dog outside <laughs> now i know there's a mod you guys pointed out which sorts out the feet and the tail it's currently in early access but if you guys recommend it i will go ahead and grab that and give it a go if anyone's downloaded it so far let me know what you think okay so luna's here she's still somewhat feeling bad i think <laughs> So we've got him some meat. Also, I might get her to transform just so that they can like, he's not feeling so lonely in his new form. Cause he's stuck like this for another like 40 minutes. And she can now control when she transforms. So there we go. Although he's just run off somewhere. Oh my gosh, I was trying to make him feel better. Okay, fine, I guess I'll just enjoy my raw meat. Oh, and he's back with bubble gum and nakedness. And he's scared. What happened to me? Where am I? Oh gosh. Okay, let's send him home, the poor thing. So they always come back at the top of the mountain. That's so interesting. And the moon petal, even though it's a full moon now, technically it's still not ready to harvest. I think it will be under the first proper full moon. And I just ran by a whole dead body. Has this person just died? I don't even know. So he's arrived back home, naked, having a sleep on the couch. He's not having a good time. His life crisis, Rain is done with his current unsatisfactory life and needs a change. A change of house, which we have. A change of work, you never worked. A change of partner. Well, you could have had that, but you kind of messed it up, didn't you? He's feeling insecure and he's feeling really sad about everything that's gone down. I think the, uh, why does he want football coming? I think his actions have finally start to cut off with him. And now he's a werewolf, which means you're probably gonna have slightly different tastes as well. Like raw wolf me. And I'm gonna try with Luna and be like, I acted really rashly. I can't control the way I act when I'm a werewolf. I shouldn't have done this. I'm so sorry. She's gonna just talk about her werewolf experiences, try and like patch things up a little bit, apologize. She's feeling kind of bad right now. Also, Rain put some clothes on, babes. <laughs> but Luna's like, look at this, furious, drifting love and deeply wounded. I think it's gonna take quite a while for these guys to uh, make things up. But Rain is now werewolf, which means I have to work through the werewolf initiate aspiration with him. Like experience our first full moon, which we will do tonight. Read werewolf, 
books and level up to run. He's actually going to have to read books. Rain, I don't know if you even know how. He's just like sleeping in the bed that Luna ripped to pieces. <gasps> and they've had the new baby. I can't stop by though because it's a full moon. I might hurt the baby. I can't even go see my new sibling. Okay, we're very close to full moon. And Luna's also got a new like bad wolf perk. She has wolf brain now. These sims have trouble with intellectual or logical pursuits when their wolf brain is constantly calling. And instead, she's just on her phone like, flashing lights, so pretty. <laughs> so we won't be going to university anytime soon. But I am going to try and make things up by buying a little games console because we said we wanted to play games together. Maybe we could do it here. Plus, they, they, they can't talk to each other right now because they're so angry with each other, both for valid reasons. I think what Luna did was worse, but like... You can't blame her because Rain had this coming, you know? Uh, but maybe if they play games together, then it will help them like blow off some of their steam. <gasps> oh no, wait, these guys are here too. Do you want to play with us? Could be nice to introduce Rain to some friendly werewolves that will now be his new brethren and friends. Oh, and what's this? Did your fury get too high again? Your fury builds so fast. Call of the moon from being a werewolf during the full moon. She can feel the force of the full moon. Oh my gosh. It's not even midnight yet and she's already transformed without, you know, against her will. Don't smash the new games console. He can feel the call of the moon too, but not enough to transform yet. Oh, and he's transformed now too. They can't resist it. He's also got the anti-capitalist canine. Ever since the beast awakened, doubts about societal norms have begun to stir. This sim now rejects the daily grind. When did you ever do the daily grind? When, Rain? And will gain extra fury if forced to partake in the endless crushing rat race. That fits you so freaking well because I don't think you've ever worked a day in your life anyway. So this makes total sense. Oh my gosh, how much marking are you doing? Are you just constantly peeing on the floor? What is happening right now? Oh! <gasps> And he's somehow reached tier two. Run. Well done. You're starting to get the hang of the werewolf thing. You have a new temperament that affects how you navigate the world, which causes fury to bubble over. Be sure to check out new abilities as well. So he is a restless animal. They feel too constrained while indoors and gain extra fury without anything fun to do. What? But you were such an indoorsy sim before. You literally never left your room playing on your console. Oh, look, it's, it's here. I just can't harvest it because I'm a wolf. But yeah, he's not going to be an indoorsy sim anymore. It's going to be a whole new reign. A whole new reign. And here are my two werewolves howling. Where's the moon? It's, oh, there it is. Howling underneath the full moon. Rain has been transformed against his will. Luna's a stronger werewolf, so I'm going to see if she can try and regain control. Has she managed to do it? Or is she too savage right now? I don't think she was successful. Wow, it's, it's really strong. Oh, no, she will because she's going somewhere. Okay. So I'm going to have to harvest these petals before we go. Meanwhile, Rain has the zoomies. <laughs> it's literally called zoomies. He's just zooming around everywhere. Don't get too close to that dangerous werewolf, Rain. I feel like one day you will challenge that werewolf, but that day is not yet. You are way too, like, low in the grand scheme of werewolf things. <gasps> and we've got Luna back. Okay, Luna has returned. Okay, I'm going to get you to harvest that thing then. Man, you've got to be a strong enough werewolf to be able to, like, regain your power. <gasps> a dangerous scent. Wait, where are you? <gasps> oh my gosh, she tunes transforms back to human literally on the territory of that Greg guy. Oh, Greg's coming over. She's already a werewolf though, so it's not like bit getting bitten can help. Yeah, Greg is super scary apparently. He even, oh my gosh, this is Greg. No way, I'm actually meeting Greg as well. Oh, he looks the way I wanted to make Rain look. <gasps> oh, what? Oh my gosh, she's fighting. He's come over to brawl her. I was like, oh, he can't hurt her because she's already a werewolf. <gasps> But he actually can't. He's vicious. I just wanted to get my little moon petals. But no, I'm in a big fight now. Oh my gosh. This is the first time I've seen a werewolf growl. I don't think she's going to win. She was practicing fighting before. But yeah, he's totally... Wow, she's thrown to the ground. You need to get out of here, babes. Greg is scary. Yeah, Greg, this is Greg. He just wanted her off his territory. Okay, do an annoying little wee just to like, you know, annoy him. And then literally get out of there. <laughs> no, I was too slow to harvest them. Oh my gosh, that's actually enraging. Oh my gosh, look, she's got little bandages all over her. Oh my gosh, everywhere. He really beat her up. She's feeling dazed from getting beaten up by Greg and also Greg's gift. Luna is feeling physically chaotic after being bitten by Greg. She's battered and she's bruised. 
Oh, jeez. Maybe one day another werewolf or even Luna herself can go back and get vengeance on Greg, but he seems significantly stronger than her. Okay. Meanwhile, Rain just runs around like a lunatic. So our first transformation has is done with Rain. He is now a werewolf too. He was bitten out of jealousy and anger from a very territorial wolf who he managed to make angry enough. When it comes to love, this has made him reevaluate his whole life. So we now have a new as lifetime aspiration for him too. Yeah. I'm gonna update his werewolf appearance in the next episode. So if you guys would like me to go for this like black bird rain, let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please show it some love and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.